There we go. The horse won't welcome aboard, so I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Is a mighty dancing Drakir at your service! <laughs> yeah, the music in this game is good. And welcome back to the Sexy Brutale, where, well, we have this preview, or the pre-stream on this for the first time, since last time we were catching up on something. And, uh, yeah. I just realized... There's a hmm? red hand on the, on the side of the menu. Yeah, that's the uh, completion uh, 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 encounter. You, you... Now we caught you red-handed. Okay, last time we got started on this game and we saved, well, three of the guests. But we still have, let's see, four, six, seven to go. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> What do I, what the heck does Brutale mean? Uh, Brutale, I, I think... Uh, I think it comes up at one point in the game, but it's basically just a bit of a bullshit word. In that they just, they just took Brutal and put an E next to it. Okay, Lutkavio, get up. Oh. So he wants something <laughs> simple like that. But I have heard of the uh, Brutale used in the past. Okay, uh, yeah. Nothing we can do here. So yeah, last time uh, we got we found out that we're in some sort of time loop bullshit, and uh, yeah, we need to save. Well, we need to at least once save all of the character, well, all of the other guests, because we don't give a crap about the staff. And uh, yeah, try and get out of this hellhole. Um, yeah, last time we got through the tutorial, we saved uh, Trinity and Clay. And now we are on to the guest rooms, where our next victim resides. Or, well, not our next victim, but the next victim. That's a big old fish. Oh, hello. <laughs> I completely missed this. this the, it's the wine key. Uh, last time we... We got to this area, but we didn't manage to... A, a bit of a drop Wait, in the you call it? The, the, the winding key. Oop, someone's coming this way. But I heard something else. What then? I don't know if you said it in Dutch or what you said. Tree. <laughs> okay, now that's no, that's no uh, Dutch word to my knowledge. Uh, Alright, is there uh, someone coming the over here? Key? Uh, Sleutel. Uh... Wait, what? Yeah. Care to repeat? Sleutel. Sleutel. Let's see, it's a good thing you shared your secrets with me, Lucas. Well, that's a lucky find. Though, it is a bit obvious when you look at the... Well, behind. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the door posts there. Yeah. Yeah, she is in there. A beast, liar. Okay. I know what you are. Show your face. This is the next of the guests that we have to, well, save. And, well, we saw how she ended up, didn't we? She ended up hung from the bell. All right. That's the gunshots. Something going on. Uh, let's see. The desk is covered with macabre bone and skull designs. It appears to be tightly locked. Um, to be locked tight. So many candles around that bed. I was basically with all that death amount of candles. <laughs> yeah, a big fire hazard. The bed is an extraordinary vision of gothic decadence. It looks like it has not been slept in for a long time. Okay. Uh, uh, don't set yourself on fire. <laughs> Dangerous looking books fill the shelves. What appears to describe how to split and hide part of your soul through murder? Harry Potter reference. The potent smell of spices and musk emanating from the trunk. 
Must. I'm concerned. Um, something seems off about her now. Yes. Did something happen with her neck or? Trigger warning. Oh, God. Bad time for that to pop up in the corner. And that's the bell we've been hearing, hearing each time. Okay, so whatever we're going to need to stop, it's in that hidden room. Let's see. But we'll need to scout around the first still for how to actually do that. Let's see. Scorpion fish, a fierce beauty with striking colors. A single drop of his poison is used in the abyssal bite cocktail available in the casino bar. And yeah, a pick your poison bar, which is rather <laughs> on the nose. Dogfish. This sleek little shark was rescued from an unscrupulous restaurant. Has so far eaten a small fortune in exotic tank mates. <laughs> okay. Also, give me a second to do a thing here. Because I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb mode. There. Transcendent Angelfish. Cruel selective breeding has created this exquisite Angelfish variant. It has no mouth and exists only as decoration. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Let's see. There is a chalk sketch on the can canvas. It has a different feel to all the other paintings in the room. Like it was scribbled in a hurry or panic. The canvas has been blacked out. Looking very closely, it seems as though there is a painting of a couple smiling under the layers of thick black paint. Okay. A table filled with art supplies. All the tubes of fluorescent white seem to be missing. Okay. Steam disconnects, apparently. Though this game has no online parts, so that's not going to be an issue. Yeah, a small it's desk. Disconnect a lot of lights. Yeah. A small desk, presumably for writing or sketching. A collection of canvases are stacked against the wall. They are all initialed EB. Okay. Well, that's certainly something. Enormous impossible chains su uh, suspend a glowing skull over the doorway. It radiates a sense of repulsion and dread. And we can't open. The door is sealed by an enormous glowing skull. You cannot enter. Okay. Well, now we need to make haste a bit because the end of the day is coming and we need to use this winding key. Uh, is this the right way? I hope so. Oh, oh hello. Hungry charm. Ah, there we go. Uh, nope, not that one. There we go. Okay, so our first... The task is to get past that skull. So can we oh. check this thing out? And then now I notice the naked mermaids. <laughs> Let's see, Lamprey. Also known as the Bastard of the Deep, this highly unpleasant character is a reminder to us all that life is as ugly and draining as it is beautiful and noble. <laughs> all 
I never heard anyone call them dead. I have heard them call them the leeches and monsters of the deep. <laughs> okay, and reset. Also, apparently, we can reset things all <clears throat> to the yeah, to the start by pressing F1. We'll probably need to use that some. Oh. <laughs> Forgot the sink to the damn thing. Oh uh, well, that means we have to run back up again. Oh dear. Yep, and and I again, I go into the wrong place. Oh dear. I don't find Comcon. This game takes place on the same Saturday. I'm playing this on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Maybe for the sake of it, we should keep it as a Saturday game then. <laughs> Just for the joke of it? Sure. Okay, I think we've already looked at these. Okay, we can go into either of those places. Okay, who the heck was that noise? Wasn't me. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Well, uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to see me mirror flipped. <laughs> Let's see. A rope connected to the bell is tied to the wall. And yeah, we can't get any scissors or such to just cut it. It's just sheer drop deep into the darkness. <clears throat> Pardon. Okay, here we are. That's it. The casino theme in, the, in this game is the most well known. But that doesn't mean that the other tracks are not good at either. It's Golden Koi. Ten generations of Koi have been fed on pure gold flakes to create this stunning creature with solid gold scales. Donated by our friend Aurum. Okay. Uh, um, I think that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's this thing again. The chair looks uh, very well used. There are some red hairs in the backrest. A sense of peace and calm emanates from this corner of the room. Pygmy Sunfish, affectionately named Manbo, loves to dance. Is that supposed to be a preference or something? Pom Pom Fish, this puffy black fish has long hair like fins and looks like an in <laughs> indignant drowned rat. <laughs> okay. What? Flowers in the Chanaves, they are perfectly, perfectly fresh. Okay, here again. There must be something that we can do with this thing. Let's actually see if we can get a bit of... A grim-looking fetish. Its eyes are closed, but its mouth is open and hungry-looking. Wait, look at how it looks. Yeah, it doesn't Don't actually look... have a jaw or anything. Does it look familiar? Yeah, it's one skull, and we found another, so I'm guessing yeah. we have to put one and one together the somehow. Is both are skulls with pins on them. Like, they, they don't yeah. have the same decorative mods, but they both have pins. Yeah. A painting of Tequila Bell. Uh, it's signed by E. Bondes. Okay. There's water seeping through and pooling on the floor. The wall is damp to the touch. There is makeup spread across the desk as well as a pen and writing paper. It looks like the top sheet was torn off. Okay, yeah, you can see the puddle as well. That's uh, not, not something you were to expect in what's, well, so far it seemed like a six-star restaurant. I'm sure if this is a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. A hotel, casino, whatever, and all. Probably uh, a hotel and casino. Yeah. Uh, now let's see. Hello, I see. do feel in Las Vegas. The music rooms, that's for later. Let's see. I remember some of the steps that we need to do for this, but I forgetting others. Devil Monarch Fish, a variant of the tiny Devil's Hole Pupfish. One fish in approximately every 100th generation develops into this stunning monarch mutation. Okay, I believe the Devil's Pup Fish is like a 
a tiny little fish that grows in only like one place in the entire planet and nowhere else. Spiky box. Okay. Uh, the, seating, the seating in this room has a very clear VIP feel to it. Hmm. Ooh, is there someone nearby? Oh, yeah, that's... <clears throat> that's her over there already. So we're too late on that. Do we just use the charm or does, is there a step between? No, there is a step between. That's where then, though. And yeah, you can hear the crescendo building in the music as the time comes. Hmm. Let's see. Are there any rooms here? Well, there's definitely a room there. But... There is something that we need to do with this thing to actually move forwards. That's just marked because we know the codes for those. Order. Hmm. Okay. What we have to find is somewhere in here. The question is, what is it? We need to interact with this thing somewhere. Hmm. Uh, is the what a clue? Fireplace is huge. That's the music rooms, but we don't need to be there yet. Hmm. Everything should be contained to this area as to what we need. Hello. Is that we didn't have a reaction for from seeing and their plane has gone. Well, that was uh, Wait, did they go into the skull room? If they did, they were really freaking fast with it. Hmm. There is something but that we need that to do easy. with this thing. Well, mm. You can see why it was for that those two were connected for... Bonky? Oh, okay, I Hello. think I... Let's see, let's go across, because there... There is that room with the... Is that... No. Where was that room? With the... Yeah, uh, gothic room. Yeah, next room here, I'm guessing. Ah, you unlock the desk using the bone key. Okay, <laughs> bone key, bone chest. Uh, let's see, anything here? The desk contains some sort of recipe for something called the Hungry Charm. Okay. Wait. Wait, that's what we, we have! Let's see... We can make more? Or maybe it's a part of something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we know that recipe now. But where does it actually tell us what we need to do with it? Uh, or does it say anything more? It's not in there. Oh, wait. I think I get now what... Uh, no. Guest rooms, no. Hmm. Okay, there are things now pinned on the map. Yeah, they should check the power out around here. It keeps failing. Let's see. Blood flows into the charm. It murmurs softly, asking for more. Okay, we need to charge this thing. And of course enough? we get it from the lamprey. It is just a damn fish who decided I want to be a blood sucking leech. A yeah. giant. Okay, we still oh, have a bit of time. I don't mind talking to them. 
I was very young, had a board game with mm -hmm. bridges could fly off. They went to cross over them. And one of the decorations on the uh, roof on the game board, I had different biomes. One of them was a board biome, and of course, Lamprey was one of the beasts. <laughs> of course. So okay, we need to feed it. I always remember them. I always find them disturbing. Blood flows in the charm. It whispers that it is ready. Okay. Well, it's not ready quick enough, as it's now sated. But we should at least be able to get a peek into that room. Or... I think not at this rate. But we now know what to do. So I was right, just... Yeah. You missed a few steps. Okay. So, first things first is that we collect the charm. And then rush to feed the thing. Okay. Get your old bones moving, Lafcadio. Okay. One. I still don't get how I missed the mermaid statues for I was so focused on the lamb tray and the coin thing. <laughs> okay. I guess that means how much I dislike lamb tray. <laughs> yeah, they are basically just giant leeches. Okay, this room. Okay, probably would have been better if the game had given us. Uh, well, an actual description of this recipe. But at least now we know what to do with it. Also, is it just me or does that painting look like a, it's a little bit off? Like more in that it's a bit uh, slanted, I think the word is. Okay. I didn't notice the painting, but I was so focused on everything else. Okay. There, the door is on ceiling. Okay. And in we go. And... Okay. <laughs> Creepy, but... Not exactly dangerous <laughs> looking. The candles are laid out on the table. The area seems to have been prepared for a formidable ritual of some kind. Yeah, that's quite a thing there. It's another, one of those candles. <sighs> An enormous tank is filled with water. A tiny colorful fish swims in the dark. The bookshelves have been stripped bare. It's as if someone was clearing everything from the room. A hidey spot. Okay, and she's on the way. I actually, I'm actually putting a blink of a blank on her name. Yeah, Willow Blue. Wait, there's a skull? On oh, like a uh, candle skull over there next to the fountain. Yeah, but this one's not lit like the others. Let's see. I think we have what we need to, to solve this. Uh. Oh. Okay, that did something, yeah. Okay, oh, she lit the candle. I think you should push to sabotage it. It is you, it's you who's been calling to tequila. Swamp blood runs in these veins. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing the water's out. <laughs> or... Well. Let's at least see what happens then to... If... Oh, now the wall... Oh. And... Oh. I will not hear you. Did we do it? 
Yeah, bastard little fish hypnotizes her somehow, which well led to what we saw, and the mansion is not happy with that. Lovecadio, why are you here? I was... I was going to do something terrible. I don't want to. I don't. I'm just so tired, Laffy. I'm so tired. And so lonely. Why do I feel alone when they're so close to me? So close. I was going to do something terrible. But now you're here and... Thank you. And that's Willow saved. Yep, and here we go again. Take her mask. So yeah, what's the deal with this stupid little fish? Willow's second sight. Willow's mask allows you to see things and others cannot. The ghost of the mansion will now appear as an eerie blue cloud. Light Willow's voodoo candles to reveal ghosts fully, allowing you to see them, hear them, and talk to them. Willow can see things others can't. With her mask and her candles, you can too. There's more to this place than you know. Squish, squish, and... Uh, yeah! Hmm... Hello, Grinmaw. I don't think you'll win. <laughs> There's time, girl. There's always time. Yeah, big fucking voodoo fish that hypnotizes her. With another fish. Fishception? Question mark? Okay, if we'd want to, we could listen in to the story now. Or what what did on the full conversation, so to speak, between the two of them. But... I... It... Okay, when these are here, this will activate, but there's actually no... Now, there's nothing to see here. So... Oop. Oop. Not this... Oop. That's Willow, and that's someone else. Yep, and another one. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll have to pull the bit, the little switcheroo here. Yep. So there. And just as something was about to happen downstairs. She'll be safe. Yeah, there was someone she was talking about. Yeah, I think we're missing a lot of conversation due to uh, being there at the wrong time. Yeah, and that—that that is part of the. Now back to the tank. I think I dropped my invitation. But yeah. It's very... There is a lot that you can infer from all the characters if you follow them around and such. It's a good thing you shed your... Yeah. Mm, and we might as well have a... Just in time. Okay, just gotta wait for her to leave here. Actually, no, that's bad because now we're locked. Actually, can we... Yeah, we could what go save her again, but it wouldn't help us, really. 
We need to find out where to go next. Well, the were two people down here we missed due to the other gay interrupting us. Yeah, but they're for later. For now, it's the other occupant of these guest rooms that we need to follow. Uh, the blonde? Yeah. Because now we can see these jackasses that were blocking the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you here to see Miss Bell perform too? Please don't let us stop you. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Tequila Bell, the Southern Siren. Okay. We have our next target to rescue. And another death to figure out. So, let's go look around for that winding key. Okay. A lot of musical stuff, as is obvious. There is the clock. That made me twitch. Okay. Hmm. Where is that key? Must be somewhere around here. Uh, let's see. Wasn't there some... Wasn't it that we could interact with these to get the map, at least? Yeah. Okay, no. As long as it's... Nope. Wrong. <laughs> we accidentally walk in on something private. And everyone just stares at you. Okay. Yeah, at least we can observe at the moment. Let's see. I've sourced a rather special piece of sheet music. I think you will find it very much to your taste. What? How do you get this? This is a private song. I never... Miss Bell, please. We've already started. Fine. I will sing. Marvelous, marvelous. Deep down you are a jealous, poisonous siren, but you had a glorious, glittering death. Now I shall lay you to rest with all the pomp and ceremony I feel you deserve. Remember that body we saw in the... where Trinity died? Yeah, there's a lot of interconnected stuff in this game. So yeah, we know what we need to stop. We know what we need to prevent. And we don't have too much time to do it. Even less if we can't find that blasted key. 
Holy. There's a card here. Might as well pluck that up. Hmm. Well, I think I know what you need to do. You need to remove someone's music sheets. Let's see. Um, wait, what is that on the... Hmm? Over here? There's something on the key. <laughs> Let's see. Storage closet key. Power right. again. And we can go to the... Yeah, no? Where are you go? We can lock Ooh. this door. So one other way to save her would be to, well, remove her killer from the scenario. Of course, we'd need to be quite quick about that. Ah, there's the key. Just in freaking time. Okay. Wind this thing and then set our clock to it. Okay, not you, you. Okay. Now let's leave. Yeah, let's use our last bit of time to look around a bit. The shallow pool is surrounded by marble instrument. um, instruments. It's like a humble shrine to music. There are tiny fish skeletons in the water. Like the other cabinets in the room, this contains instruments used by the famous musicians with facts and trivia on each piece. The display cabinet shows the saxophone used by blues legend Fats Snap. The cabinet is unlocked and anyone is free to play on the instruments. Okay. Now, if my memory serves right, it is actually rather easy to solve this case. Once you figure out you can lock that closet. Oh. Nope. Okay, that uh, sounds better than just uh, removing the music sheet. Let's see. I dedicate this piece to all those who left us too soon and those, t uh, and those shortly about to join them. Let's see, you are set club, seven of clubs. And yeah, we'll first need to get that key. We take our pleasures where we can, whatever sadness there might be before or after. Right now, at these keys, there is peace. If all action is just a drug to ease the pain as life passes, I might choose this one. That's one, certainly one way of looking at things. Wonderful. Soon Mr. Hilo will arrive, and I shall play her song. It will be quite the unexpected spectacle. Hmm, tricky part coming up. And break for applause. What are you listening for? I, what now? What the hell is that noise? Is that a bell? You ink? I think one of the ghosts was entering there. Let's see, I'm trying to push the boundaries of musical coherence, and someone just leaves this noise playing. I swear, if I wasn't already murdering someone today, I'd be thinking about doing it anyway. <laughs> Bastard. Hmm. He's heading back. Hmm. 
And now there's a bit of an audience here, it seems. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we have another gramophone here. It's an old-fashioned vinyl record player. There's nothing on the turntable. So yeah. Oh, I see what you're planning here. We have the trap. We just need the bait. So where can we find a record here? Hmm. The room captures a relaxed, intimate feel. It feels like a place where... Hello. Where good times have happened. I think I know where we can find a, a track. You just take it for the one here. Okay, like, which oh. does mean that we are out of time already. Okay, yeah. Okay, However, we can reset does... or we can continue looking around a bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ludwig van Ludacris pioneered the blending of classic organ and shank hop into a new and broadly unlistenable genre of music. Okay, just because something is new does not have to mean it's good. <laughs> Homeless Joe Blue. Known as the Harmonica Saints, Joe was playing as a busker when a high-ranking priest walked by. He became a permanent fixture in Vatican City. Okay. Bella Canto, a singer who possessed an unheard of vocal range. She was able to hit the diamond note, a C10, which was said to shadow diamonds. Late mentor to Tequila Bell. The microphone has been set next to the gramophone. Perhaps someone was practicing here? Stage is fully equipped and looks ready for a performance. Oh, this way has a problem. Hmm? How? We need to get the storage key as well. Yeah, for that problem, for... We can't grab the... 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 the <laughs> but then we can't grab the key! Or we wait for him to start moving, then grab the vinyl, or is there something else hidden around here somewhere? It's an urn made of delicate mosaic glass. We've seen one of those before. The cabinet is filled with strange musical curios. You think you see a monkey's head converted into a <laughs> converted to a music box? Oh come on! The piano is a lustrous black ebony, and the keys feel strangely familiar to your touch. Hmm. And yeah, that is where the disposal is happening. Actually, I think... Hmm. Let's, let's still continue looking around a bit more. The mural lies in a thousand razor-sharp pieces. Yeah, she got absolutely cut to shreds. The piano is beautifully carved from what appears to be bone? Okay, the heck do we get a bone big enough to carve an entire piano out of it? Um, if it's just the key, the keys on the piano? True, but that, it, it looked like he was talking mm -hmm. about the entire thing. The chute appears to lead down to a room on the floor below. There's a faint smell of plants and water. And if we look to the map... Um, yeah, if you were to overlay these two together, this room would be over here. Above the uh, butterfly and fucking spider room. Hmm. A custom rack filled with uh, various outfits. There is something in one of the pockets. Very what? big hats. 
old cases. They appear to contain staff uniforms. Oh, now he's see. Yeah, we still need to go grab it, play it, and when he goes over here, grab the key, then lock him in. Yep. Instruments and other musical paraphernalia are hidden under dust sheets. And there goes the power again. I think you are starting to notice a pattern between the uh, occurrences around the place and, well, the, pe <laughs> the people's deaths. Yeah. The stage is a scene of refined carnage. Stained glass, twisted metal and blood is scattered all over. Okay. Let's restart the day. Let's see, what is it called again? Hmm. So, let's grab that thing first. Mm -hmm. yep, this way. Yep. <laughs> it didn't... Uh, that, that. Old fashioned vinyl play. And we get a purple vinyl record out of that. Okay. Now, without that, he's not going. Seven of Clubs is not going to head out. Or is it Clubs? Uh, yes, it is Clubs, clubs and Spades. Oh. Spades is the other one. Yeah, for this was more like a clover. There we go. And he immediately. <laughs> Hide! Immediately he stops. Or, no. Okay, which was just the sound being overmastered. Overpowered. Okay. He's not noticing because he is playing still, so he can't hear it. Okay, I do like that with the sound, that it actually... It actually will overpower each other if you're close to the source of something. Like with how we can't listen in, we couldn't listen in to the one man in the, the poison bar. Dude has better hearing than us, then, if he can hear it through. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing he doesn't like vinyl. Okay. We'll have to be a bit quick about this. Perfectly timed. Here we go. Get on. And there we go. Uh, the bars are a bit much. <laughs> what the hell? I'm bloody locked in. Price. Lovcadio, I wasn't expecting you. I have to practice for the big finale. Dread isn't here to play for me. Would you mind? You play so beautifully. And there is a lot of context that we are missing because I already know how to generally fix things and we're not peeking in on a lot. But I'd say that would be a good reason for people to buy this game and dis discover all of that by themselves. Like, I have spent hours upon hours just stalking all of the characters all over the place just to get every single interaction out of them staff included let's see i had a dream i wrote a horrible song lovecadio it was a jealous mean piece i didn't mean it i i've always loved lucas but i wish the two of them every happiness Oh, this song? You had me write this for her so long ago. It's perfect. From the top, then. Chris. 
Nice little song. A lot less vicious as well. That was beautiful, Lafcadio. She will love hearing it. That is Tequila Bell saved from a very, very painful demise. Take her mask. Then come to the window. Oh. How is the get now? Tequila's shattering voice. The singer Tequila Bell has one of the most powerful and beautiful voices ever heard. Tequila's mask allows you <coughs> Tequila's mask allows you to shatter delicate glass with her voice. Smash mosaic glass objects by using the power when the prompt appears. Yeah, that, that was the oh. that was her own voice that shattered the mosaic behind her. Because she hit one of those <laughs> well diamond shattering no notes. Oh yeah, that that I understood. That I tricked her to do do that high. Is is one of the uh, he was a, a, quite an horse. Yeah. This window has a secret boon. Tequila's voice, so we say it resonates in this mansion. Use the power she gave you. That's something down there. This room used to be the orchestra pit for the room below, the theater. Can you imagine what this place would have been in the height of its glory? The shows, the music, the life. Tequila loved to stand up here, to stand here up high. But the Marquis decided it was too dangerous. Her personal enjoyment was sacrificed for the greater good. Sometimes we have to hurt people to help them move on. The path will become clear, Boone. I'm sorry. Well, she certainly helped him move down. Golden. She believed she was keeping you safe. Yes, very clever. But I think she has rather overplayed her hand. I will find her, then be back for you. In the meantime, do enjoy the show. And so we get moved to the Theater Brutale. Sturdy cast iron popcorn machine. It seems like any th theater goers would be well taken uh, care of. Okay, we oh, can't go that it's, way. It's a popcorn machine. Yep. 
Grayson Grayson, the Lightfinger at Locksmith, Red Rock Ridge, the Gentle Goliath. Yep, yeah, another duo. And we are locked in here. We cannot go anywhere else. Let's see, what the heck is this? It's a vending machine that spits out ready-made martinis. <laughs> what a glorious concept. Okay. Okay. The timing of that. Oop. Ah, it there they are. When there's a loud bike driving past. <laughs> Hello there. And there's a card in here. Okay, not that useful. Okay, and using that power is tiring. Okay. King of hearts. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's not like what... Uh, that's not what I like. Hmm? Okay, yeah. We'll have to stalk these two to figure out what actually happens to them. Let's see. But no one on Earth could crack that lock. And no one else on Earth could... Now let's see what we have. God damn it! <laughs> that is not an egg! <laughs> well, that's certainly a way of walking. Rather full of himself, by the looks of it. Ooh, and there's a ghost moving through. Ooh, it is cold here. Yeah, I'm... I don't know if you're supposed to find a lighter earlier on, or if it's something that gets picked up along the way. Oop. Egg ho, Grayson. <laughs> Visual on the egg. Okay. These two need to go uh, find Danny DeVito. Not, we'll offer them an egg in these trying times. Huh? It's a meme. <laughs> that crazy rich bastards. Wait. Grayson, wait. Something's not right. The show tonight. Wasn't it going to be some kind of, some kind of awful death threat in all seriousness? This is all the this is all time that I could. <laughs> I mean, look at those spikes and those, what are those, electrical pylons? Look, can we just check to make sure nothing is, like, plugged in or turned on before you get in the awful death cage, please? Fine. You check that way, I'll take these rooms. Let's go make sure this is all off or disconnected or whatever. What did I do without you to look out for me, Red? <laughs> you know it. Although, I just want to see... It can't re uh, really hurt just to take a look. I mean, it might not even be the true Moloch egg, and... Oh, sweet lord, it is! Look at it! Gods, that fat braggart Arwen. If his ancestors really were involved in making this, the craftsmanship, it's just... Wait. Hey, my hands! <laughs> What is this? Hey, who's there? Red? Red? Grayson, wh why is the electricity on? Someone locked me in here. What? Who? I don't know. I didn't see. I can't get the cage open. My hair is standing on end just being near the door. Red, my hands are trapped. Really trapped. What do you mean? Are you hurt? No, it's just metal bands that snapped over my hands. Can you get to your picks? No, I can't get to my... <laughs> I can't get to my picks. If I can get in there, I can snap those bands, I'm sure. And break the egg? Are you crazy? It's fine, I'll be fine. Just go find that bastard who locked me in, break his knees. Maybe not the knees part, but I'll find him. This is ridiculous. What the hell is that? Ladies and gentlemen. 
Welcome to the Sexy Brutale Showcase of Illusions. A show? No, no show, don't start the show! I don't like this, I'm now officially not having fun! Red! Red! Great, what hap what's happening? Oh no. Whatever crazy show they had planned, it's starting. I think I saw those spikes move. But we'll get you out, we'll- I'll get you out. But don't tell me you'll get me out, do something! It's a magic show, right? The magician would have an exit. Red, I don't know. I didn't design this insane shit. I just want out now. Yes, great, look, there's a trap door. It looks like there's a padlock, but you can't pick that easily, right? I could pick any lock in my sleep. My hands are stuck. Our bold musician is ready to perform his finale. The spikes of death descend. What? The spikes of what? Red, get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. There's a switch backstage. Maybe it will shut it down. I'll be right back, Ray. I don't. I won't let anything happen to you. I have to shut this down. I can get, do, can't do anything with the electricity. Red, red. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is not happening. This is not happening. Come on, come on. Who is doing this? What kind of sick... What is happening here? Oh, Jesus. My hands. I need my hands. Help, help me. Oh, God, Red, please. Please. Get me out. Get me out of here. Red? Red? Grayson, I'll get you out. I'll get you out, I promise. But what are you doing? so brutal, but don't despair. Look. <laughs> He's exactly as he should be, as he hangs impaled from the blades. And only then does the mask fall away and so does he. So, uh, yeah, the mask only burns away once they're dead, so, uh, he was still alive whilst he clung to that. Yeah, also, he said, he said something about spikes. Those are not spikes, those are bloody swords. And yeah, now we know what kept causing the shortage. Their shorts. Oh, bloody heck. Okay, now this one I remembered at least about. Because I think we have to mess around a bunch backstage. Let's see. Books and exotic cocktails and liquors. The seating and arrangements are classic speakeasy. It's cool and effortless. Another chest. Spiky box with a bit pack lock. Seeing the spirits behind the bar floods your mind with possible drink combinations. Okay. Another Terrington statue. This one has a tiny chip in it. The imperfection makes it feel more special. Okay. A ghost taking their leave. 
Running your hands over the upholstery of the chair is soothing. Soft and inviting. All right, this area counts as a separate room, so we would we would be able to be in here whilst they are up on the stage, I believe. Because you can see a travel point there. The theater is laid out for oh. the relaxed comfort of the audience, not for maximizing seating space. Okay. Another Carrington. When you turn away from the statue, you could almost swear you see a flicker of movements. Okay, reference. That, yeah, another painting that's a bit ajar. The painting is cued on the wall. Looking at it for too long is increasingly irritating. Fire snow. Oop. Hello. Electricity. Divert it. To the cage. Exactly. The switches. Useless. In the stage. Ready. The trap. Set. The plan. Perfect. Okay. Nine of uh, yeah, nine of uh, spades Art. and nine of hearts. Nine of spades and nine of hearts. Okay. Okay. Now, where did the two chuckle fox come from? The chest uh, is an depending, ornament. Depending on how far back you wanna know. And know what? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, where they came from. <laughs> uh, there's... Yeah. There is a seating area presumably for guests waiting for shows to start. Cards. This shelf contains blueprints on complex traps and tricks, co-signed by Lucas Bondes and Thanos Goreki. Or correct? Yeah, Gorecki. This desk is filled with details on the various shows that have been uh, taken place in the teen theater over the years. The bookshelves are filled with text on stage shows and magic, including a, first, a signed first edition of Carter Defeats Satan, a biography of Charles Carter. Okay, I'm guessing a, a famous illusionist. Oop. Company. Okay, th this is where they locked the cage. Yeah, you can hear it slam shut. Audio is a big deal in this game. The lock. Secure. The mission. Success. Superb. <laughs> Sensational. The other? Absent. A problem? Irrelevance. Yep. Yep. Oh, no, I thought it was a hiding place. Same! And yeah, we can be in here. Yep. The smell. Innocent. Yep. One of them just farted in the other's face. Okay. And Red just went into this room as well now. What is going on here? What is that sound? Okay. Inside the desk are notes on the lighting designs for the stage. Okay, I think there is something that needs to be done with these switches here. Yeah, the power is off. And, yep, that is a hiding place. Okay. Hello? The marble statue is flawlessly carved. Behind the cards, her face is in anguish. 
And a card, another a jar of... The statue is inscribed with Carrington. Most of the statues throughout the mansion bear the same name. Yeah, pretty much all of them. All of them made by Trinity. Power is off. Another hiding spot. Books mostly about Eric Weiss and Nikola Te and Nikola Tesla. Nikola? Yeah. <laughs> the clothing rail with several different costumes arranged on it. Okay. Another hiding spot. The desk is plainly built, but absolutely flawless in its simplicity. The writing paper is monogrammed L. Bondis. I'm guessing Lucas Bondis, of who we've heard a f quite a few times. Books and music competition have not found. Papers on the desk include bills for stage construction, catering, and renovations. Okay. Now. That is every room that we have access to. And yeah, this is on the other side of... Uh, one of the burning doors over here, below the guest rooms. Okay. Let's see if we have saved those two. Now, I think to do that, we need to be very precise with something. We, the, like I said, the power is off. So something needs to be done about that. Hello? Lighter? There's a large golden lighter in the safe. It is warm to the touch. The heck did you use the lighter for? And... That's red dead. Hmm. There are the ghost candles around. Maybe we can get some information from the ghosts? Yeah, I feel like we're gonna need it. I feel like we are missing something here. Yeah, if I recall it correctly, seem... it has something to do with activating the switches at the same time and thus man managing to time it when uh, Red pulls on one of them or something. But I forget. Okay. Let's see, there's a chill in the air that wasn't there before. Okay. With no ghosts in sight. And I think that's the only room here. With one of those. Hmm. Let's, let's double check around. Because that must mean that we've missed whatever Spectre was to aid us. Yeah, he was here when they were here. Okay, so oh, we'll have to out. follow after them. This in the room, Inspector. Oh. Okay, but there's no candle nearby. Okay. Okay, so what we have to do is follow after them, get the lighter, light the candle, and... Well, see from there what can be done. Uh, hold on. Okay, we kept it. Typically stuff gets lost, so why... Why not this lighter? Hmm. Then, well, all we, all we can really do here is wait for the ghost to arrive and maybe tell us something useful. We know we arrive. We just need to keep watch on those when they're about to open that uh, lock uh, safe thing. Yeah, but we That's already have. We still have the locker. Hmm. Let's see. We know that red goes to the left side first. Let's just see. There isn't too many times where you have to use this thing here. But we can take a guess. Okay. He runs at about four. He runs into the back rooms there. 
and then reappears from there whilst those two chuckle fucks are over there. Okay. He goes into there about six. Comes back. And heads into the other room. And then we run in and pull the other switch. If that is what we need to do. Oh, oh hello. I thought we'd have to wait forever. Ah, you there, Lackey. Will you go and tell those bloody idiots to turn the power back on? They've been buggering about with the, electric the electrics in the basement. But tell them there's a circuit breaker behind the bookshelf in the Northeast Library here. Lucas, bless him, had this whole se place secretly wired up for the Big Magician show. You're such a fan of the disappearing acts. Great love of drama, you know. Anyway, shut up, you are boring me. We didn't say a damn thing, jackass. Okay. Well, yes, that means we don't need to bother with the uh, pull them at the same time for they invite the both of them. Okay. Let's see. The two of them are over there now, so we'll have to follow after them. Oh yeah, I guess we if we go to that bookcase and reactivate the power. Red can save. Uh, what was it on the name? Grayson. I still don't know how you're what how you're supposed to say the difference with the E or A. So we actually don't give much of a damn about that. Okay. Okay, now just about to head over. And then we just follow after them and activate that circuit breaker. Oop. Oh wait, you're coming this way. Okay. Yeah, the reason the, the reason our mask pops up over there is because it's count as our health meter. It's just that we've managed to dodge them so far without getting hurt. Hmm. Ghost around here again. Okay, empty. A book sits on out of place. The secret is revealed. Okay. It's on, but nothing's happening. Oh, okay. So. No, we both need to do it at the same time. Let's see. They're not here yet. Yep. Nope, oh, they just arrived. And now he is peeking through the, the door. <laughs> Gotta be an absolute pain in the ass to try and peek through a keyhole with the mask on like that. You see? Chip chaps. Suspicion. Oblivious. Oop. Oh, hello, Grayson. <laughs> oh, no, that, that was red. Hello, Grayson. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> um. Okay, we'll have to move around then. Because we need to know the exact moment that Red pulls one of the levers and then pull the other one. So... How about that? He goes to the left one first. And that was the door locking. Or the cage locking. No, no that is the cage. What was the other noise I heard then? Hmm. Okay. He's going to rush over here first. Okay. Hmm. 
So if we hide in here, we'll know the exact moment that he pulls the lever. Okay. And as the murderer's best buds head out, we head in. And hide. And, yeah, now we must wait. Who's the hero? Yeah, there's a lot of wait. Oop. There's a lot of waiting in this game. What is going on here? What is that sound? And that's Willow. Okay. Yeah, you can actually see a trapdoor over there, but uh, yeah, you can't really pick locks when your hands are locked. <laughs> like, I guess you could try with your teeth if you're gonna get a lockpick between them, but then you'd first need to get to your lockpicks. It feels okay. like this trap was made for him. Yep. Okay. We need red to move so we know when to activate the other switch. I do like that they put. Okay, he runs over that way. Um, maybe we can guess it? Or wait. This one's now on. Then, is Red going to pull the other one? Or do we need to... Okay, so I, I thought we'd need to pull them both at the same time, but maybe not. You need to be okay. in the right order. Uh okay, that was... 9.20 about? Wait, it's on. He's continually pulling it. Oh, wait, just... Hmm. Oh, oh they only stay on for a certain amount of time. Okay. Oh. Uh, no, this one stays on a lot shorter. Okay. Uh, too late already. Oh, okay, so he never touch. He never touches this lever. Okay, so about eight twenty, we need to continuously pull that lever to try and get it to work. Yeah, we, we put it a bit just slightly too early. Okay. Uh, actually, we probably should have pulled it again before leaving the room. Yeah. I think it's actually the first time I've ever fast-forwarded in this game with that. I did not know it would actually just literally fast-forward. Okay, quickly. Uh, these, the two jackasses should be gone now. No. No. Oh, wait. I forgot. We need to hit the circuit breaker first. So that's another reset. Okay. So. Do not have to wait for them. Let's set to... Let's speed forward to four. That should get them moving already. Okay. Uh, do we have... No, the map also keeps track of the ghosts. 
Okay, they're already at the trap. So we can just move. Yep, he is just about to get stuck. Because he just can't, he just cannot help him bloody self, huh? Yeah. It reminds me of someone. Okay. Now, does this thing but stay? No, it does not stay on. Oh, wait. Wrong. Okay. We'll have to move around. And yeah, it's somewhere at 9.20 about. Let me double check. Okay. Red goes in there, comes back out, does not touch the lever. And he goes in there. At about 9.30, he is definitely pulling that thing. So, do we fast forward or do we wait? Let's see. Let, let's see if we have enough time to make it over there. If we speed forwards a bit. Okay. Come on, quickly, Lacadio. If only a very short window on this. Okay, yeah, we have... Okay, we make... That's it. Okay. Now, if we just... Okay, we can't keep it held. Okay, now we just need to wait a bit. Wait, that would stay on? Okay, I guess, I guess we got a bit lucky there, or... Yeah, I've never fully understood this puzzle. Oh my god, it stopped. Red, what are you doing? The door is still locked. Bloody hell. There's a reason he's called Goliath. Forgot what a total brute you are. Get these damn things off me. Uh, yeah, get these damn things off you. There. God, that's better. It's still that silly walk. <laughs> Cleffy, old boy. I was in a bad way back there. Did you do something, Lafcadio? Did you help me? Thank you. Come on, Red. The bar is calling. It's quite enough drama for one day. And again, one walks off with their mask while the other leaves it behind. That's another button blew up. That's another pair solved or saved. But we'll have plenty of time uh, for the remaining ones. Boom. He was here, wasn't he? Then why? Yeah, yeah, no need to s tell us this time. Again, none too pleasant. Grayson's light fingered touch. A professional thief uh, turned security expert, Grayson is an unparalleled locksmith. Grayson's mask allows you to crack physical locks within the mansion. Open padlocks and safe by using the power when the prompt appears. So, yeah, now we can open up those boxes we've been finding all over the place. <clears throat> At least the, the ones locked. 
Grayson was a very, very talented safecracker. He used his gifts to create many of the systems in the mansion. You will not find many logs that can keep their secrets from you now. Not many, but some. We have to go. Okay. So yeah, we're still locked in here, though. So, where are some locked chests? Because that's not a lock keeping that door shut. Okay. At Crackbook, Thanos installed one of my Fort Lock safe boxes around here. I'm certain the Marquis would be keeping it in there. I know you said... But why do you want this egg? Why do you want it so badly? I told you it's not just an egg. It is the egg. It's the Moloch egg. What was that? Yeah, that's, that's the mucking about with the power. I told Lucas this place is falling apart. Okay, no chest here, and we've already got what we want out of that breakable thing. Let's see, wasn't there a chest somewhere else around here? Or was it just the one? Hmm. Oh, wait, but I'm... I'm being completely blind, aren't I? All right. There we like go. Element design. It looks like a Viking element. <laughs> and it's just a bloody card. And yes, we can find a full set of these. All 52, I believe. Let's see, no sign. Of Tweedle uh, D and Tweedle Dumb yet? Nope. There they are. Okay. So we need to find a way out of this place. Oh nope, wait, there's the padlock or the, no, the the trap door. Okay, they're not here yet. It means we can move in. Egg ho Grayson. <laughs> there we go. Trap door. Uh, Welp, too late it seems. <laughs> okay, that means just a quick restart. And in th this time, instead of pathing about, we go straight for <laughs> the trap door. Yeah. Okay, but first, Locadio needs to get his old bones off the ground. Okay, get moving, Grandpa. Okay. I think at the end of the game, you get a power that will let you interact with the ghosts at any point. So you can get whatever they're talking about and such outside of that. Okay, and out we go. The basement. The basement. Let's see. A painting of sunflowers. Their petals are turned inward, like teeth. Okay. I think that's actually a thing. Oh. Hmm. hmm. Let's see. A book called The Killer Seven Catches Your Eye. The illustrations have an unusual art style. Hmm. The collection of stories about talking animals. A curious thing to collect. In one of them, a playing card is being used as a, as a bookmark. <laughs> the painting of a dragon is mounted above the cabinet. It was drawn either by a master expressionist or a very small child. <laughs> uh, these two barrels smell off. Maybe the ale went bad? Figures for everything sold in the bar. There seem to be two sets of ledgers. Okay, that... I think that means that the books are being cooked, so to speak. Oh. And we find ourselves here. Oh. 
Enough beer to drown a small army. Unless they're northerners, in which case it's enough for, for these refreshments. Why? <laughs> the selection of wines are extraordinary. It would be a struggle to find a single bottle worth less than hundreds if not thousands of pounds. Yep. Secret door to the bar. Found. What's this? An empty keg of what smells like brandy and some knocked over stools. Might well be related. <laughs> yep. The next pair. Thanos Gre uh, Gorecki, the Blueprint Prince and Orin Runes, the Midas Giant. Yep, it's the second last of them, but this won't be the last stream of this, because there is still plenty to go. Okay, let's shut this thing off. And yeah, we're back over here. And yeah, it's kind of obvious that there's a door here. Okay. First off, let's light this thing. So we can actually see and hear these jackasses. Because this is what was blocking our way the entire time here. Oh. Yep. There's Goldilocks. Let's see. Passwords? No, don't know it, so I don't think so. I said that wrong, but I will. Okay. The drinks your man, like a <laughs> deranged teenies best, I reckon. Or the bloody agonizing Mary, maybe. Or the Singapore Sting, that's good too. But heck, even just a plain old Cobra Libra will mess you right up. Even a version Coca Cobra <laughs> as a kick. Oh, and that time I had a Killer B 52, I thought I'd died and gone to hell. Good times, good times. <laughs> Yeah, you, you would never catch me doing anything with poisons and drinks. Welcome to the bar, friends. Every cocktail we serve here is made with a different variety of venom. It's a drop, mind you. It gives the drinks a kick like you wouldn't believe. The Marquis is a connoisseur, it, is a connoisseur's connoisseur when it comes to freaky drinks. All the creatures here, everyone's uh, venoms as a different... Everyone's venoms um, made a, it's a different flavor. And down in the casino, the, the thing he has been growing there, I mean, wow, it's lit. All right, I think you've had quite enough. Okay. I think it is a thing done in some drinks, but you... It, it's like when people cook with uh, puffer fish, a certain one. Yeah. Be, be very careful. And some poisons, oh, you can drink some poisons just fine. There's some of them are more deadly if you have them in your bloodstream. It also, of course, means don't drink it, it, it if you have mouth sores or something like that. Yeah, no, if you have if you have mouth sores, you probably shouldn't drink most of anything alcoholic or anything other than basic waters and such. Yeah, but it might sting a bit, but yeah. Okay, that's where Clay is. is. Always do research. If you hear someone putting a certain poison that says it is edible or that, double check the information. Now I'd say triple check it. <laughs> yeah. Like, if it's a professional restaurant or something, you would, should probably trust them, but... If you're at someone else's home and they rather than prepare it, and they are not professional, just politely decline it. Definitely. Now, what are we finding in this thing? Another blasted cards. Okay. Hello. And of course, the fucker pulls the vanishing act again. And another card. The timing! <laughs> Synced up with uh, the Oprah thing there. Okay. Oop, nope. Oop. Bye-bye. I said bye-bye. 
Okay, just wait for the flame to fade. There we go. So nice. It's a nice and easy way to see if there is someone in there or not. Okay, and whilst we're here, we might as well, well investigate a little bit further. Let's see. Okay. And there's the slide. And there's the bastard spider. Okay. Yeah, she's she's she really thinks there's some sort of surprise planned for her. But instead this well the surprise was sprung. <laughs> yeah, she intended to spring the surprise on him. Instead she was still the one surprised. Yeah, there. Okay, I think we just missed it. Flames aren't dying out yet. Uh. Okay. No need to see any more of that. That's red. Okay. Let's see. We tied this thing, I believe. Yep. Okay. Let's restart the day, because there's nothing else more for us to see. Because, well, to get to the next area, we need a password. Okay. Okay. Like, we know that one of the two passes through here from, well, accidental encounters before. So we'll have to stalk them and find out how exactly they perish. Stop, man. Are you keep your voice down. It's like you said, we should talk to Lucas, but where is he? I don't know. Maybe planning a big entrance? I mean, it's his big party, right? Please, just do as I ask. Okay, okay, I'll be there. But I can help you out and still hope you're wrong. All right, thank you. Red is safely tucked away in the theater. Looks like Miss Bell is... Well, certainly... Ah, gentlemen, good afternoon. Enjoy your stay. Okay. Okay, and now that there's no music playing here... Hey, is that... We can actually hear what he's saying. Even a hangout like this. You can spot your handiwork a mile away, Willow. Ah, he's talking about the candle. Looks like we probably should have lit that thing. Okay, there he goes. Okay, Thanos said the statue is through here. Let's go take a look. So much for a password then, apparently. Or... Hmm. Let's see. Okay, well, Maybe it's unlocked now. Nah, yeah, that, uh, that ghost is still in front of it. Okay, I, I think we just got things out of order here. Okay. So we reset again. 
Yeah. If you don't know what to do in this game, it is a hell of a lot of trial and error that would get frustrating at certain points, certainly. But I think I did manage to actually get through this game without having to look things up. Mostly through, well, more error than trial. Okay, grab this thing to shut it up. And light the candle. Oh, that's, that's tequila bell on the thing. It's tequila on the thing, on the records. Okay. Yeah. Now we can hear these jackasses. Now, can we peep in through this thing? No, it's only just open and close. Okay. And the only real other way but we can, you can listen use the in. Now, there's no cabinet there. We're not. Uh, not an for them. Uh, it's not where we need to go. At least I, I don't think I saw one. Okay. Anyways, I let's. Saw one. Yeah, we can follow in through here as well. Okay, still in time. Yep. It is. That's our wounds, man. Yeah, he's talking about the candle. Like, really? Man, I love his work. But if he doesn't know the password, then. Oh, shut up about your stupid passwords. Everyone knows it's Eleanor. Oh, now we know. Just let him through. He looks rather physical there for a moment. Fine, fine, but no one else gets a free pass. Oh, hello there. Whispering next to my room at night. We best get to the practice room. It's tequila. Yeah, there, there, there is a lot that they do besides, well, in their bits where they get murdered at all. Okay. Uh, uh, see, there's the cabinet. Next to the door. Uh, okay. I completely overlooked that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Could have worked as well. Passwords? Oh, yes, sir. Eleanor. Very good. You still in here? None anymore. Okay. And a bunch of ghosts around here. And one of these things again, just like at the start. Yeah. You know the term, the brown notes? I invented that. Oh, okay. come on! Guess it makes sense for the VIP room to have its own corner bar. The drinks look like less poisonous than in the other room. Uh, I hope you know what the brown note is. Yeah. <laughs> the acoustics in the room must be extraordinary. But what are you saying? I'm not about to steal anything. Okay. The band plays on. No matter what and no matter when, the band always plays. Another one of these. And it's another freaking card. Yeah, I think mo in most of the chests and the uh, urns you find cards. Yeah, the diamonds. I was passed over for first saxophone. Looks like a proper shindig, or is that too many? Uh, is that many instruments a hootenanny? Perhaps it's a full-blown porn stormer. <laughs> okay. What? Going country. Another. <clears throat> Another closet to hide in. And Oop. you got out of it. Ah. You know anything about that? No, sir. The master is often very busy. Yeah, but I haven't not seen Ellie either. It just, anyway, I guess I'll have to pass on another drink. Or Thanos won't let me hear the end of it. They can no. Okay, I don't think we can jump into these when they're already present. That... that ain't right. Must be some of those weird machine robots Lucas has sixpence made, had sixpence made. I mean, a blackjack dealer is something else. The thing for a guy who designed this place, Thanos would have put in more elevators. 
Yeah, the, the guy's in a wheelchair. You'd think he'd make the place more accessible. Oh, reminds me of something I saw uh, on YouTube uh, last night. No. Locked. If, if it was one of those hold up videos, like someone had made a <laughs> ramp for handicap. However, <laughs> to get on the ramp, you have to take three steps. But I added uh, like three steps in front of it. Okay, he's not here. Yep, he's here. It's like these spooks are about to starve here, murdering people. And on the other hand, those self-made, you know, self-same staff are the only ones. To, what's the guy to do? And he talks pretty fast. Now, sir, if I remember correctly, Aurum is a, like an alternate, alternative word for gold. Maybe. He's not here. Okay. A copy of Rorschach debunked. It's it's just ink. The book is filled with beautiful monoc oh, we've seen we've seen these already because we went into here before, but the way was blocked. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of just perfectly timed. This one again. Oh, hello, you look like a man of taste. Are you headed to the main library? Would you see if you can find me a decent mystery? Something devilishly tricky, a real noodle <laughs> scratcher. If you happen to find such a thing, would you bookmark it for me? Here, use this. Yep. It's another card. Yep. It's really... You're perfectly timed instead, no. Okay. Now, oh. what's behind door number one? I thought first you were trying to open it with a lighter. <laughs> the case contains some very smudged diagrams for an enormous golden clock. Collected songs by Tequila Bell. The entire wall of books are filled uh, <clears throat> with a set of encyc encyclopedias, top to bottom. The level of detail must be quite extraordinary. I, I used to have a few encyclopedias, and yeah, there's just a lot, fuck ton of stuff in those. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I think mean, most families have those for a while, but do they even sell those anymore? Probably, but... Hmm, probably a lot less than before. Uh, let's see, the first edition of Grayson Grayson's autobiography, I prefer the term Treasure Hunter. A signed copy of Collected Sculptures by Trinity Carrington, it also contains a Braille version, which makes sense since, well, she is blind. The shelves are filled with tomes and everything from history to poetry. Okay, door number two. Nope. This must be that grand library. And the great library. The faded parchments barely legible at the top are the Japanese characters for the black hair. That goes red. A copy of The Mask and other stories by Robert W. Chambers. It is very, very well read. A fitting book, seeing as what we're... Well, this game is all about. Six of Clubs. The first edition of Hochi the Earless. Okay. Books are crammed into every inch of the tall uh, cases. A, a balsa is sticking out slightly. A what now? I'm guessing that's supposed to be an author. A report on a fisherman who caught a yuppie guppy but later drowned himself. Yup, you you guppy, not no, you guppy. guppy. <laughs> How did I brain fart on that one so hard? The catalogs for the library. It's well organized and referenced. Hmm. A collection of horror stories. And where does this lead? Okay. Painting of a dragon. A signed copy of Franz Fr uh, Kafka's The Metamorphosis. It is dedicated to Horatio Sixpence, who may it might be the uh, man in the picture. Yes, that is him. We've se we've seen him. We've saved him already. Rough rings on handmade parchment is on selling on facts. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have no need for that since we have the password already. 
Okay. No, we don't know how. Uh, we don't know how Thanos and Orm got met their ends, but we do know where we can find them. So, there's none over here. Connect to this thing. And that one is glowing. The machine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, we caught them just at about the same time. Let's instead this time follow Thanos. And this one's a lot less likely to kill half the universe. Oh, for love of... Someone... Someone was going to make that joke sooner or later. And you know what else will happen sooner or later? I think I can know in three, two... You guessed right. But no, Lucas should be here. Ah, my statues, the secrets you hide. Oh, you? Oh. Where's Eleanor? They made the robotic statues or whatever they were supposed to be. Yeah. Well, their nick, their title is the Blueprint Prince, and well, what else do you need blueprints for than to build? Well, buildings. And we can't go further than that. Okay. Hmm. Actually, before... Okay, open this up and see if we can make any more progress this way. We have plenty more time and a lot less things to get distracted by because we've already read them. Okay. A lot of paintings that are not even around here. Hmm. Okay, what have we here? The painting has a faded and scratchy quality. You're unsure of its of its significance. Oh, up here. The Bible is open on Proverbs 23, uh, 14. A glass mosaic chandelier hangs from the ceiling and... Okay, not sure what Hello? that does. Or, wait, wait, did, wait, was that candle there? Was that candle there before? The Oh, yeah. Keep, you summoned it just now. Someone has been researching the creation of the Hungry Charm. Okay, Willow has been busy here. Yeah, and now we can go down and light the candle and get information. Okay, but first let's take a peek here. Okay. A faded handwritten book sits in the display case. The title appears to be The History of Cardenio. The setting for the mirror is beautifully sculpted. There is a moth mark. There's a moth mark missing word, uh, in the lower right corner. So that's another one of Trinity's, and that's another dead end. Fierce hog heads line the wall. They look identical, which casts doubt on their authenticity. Yep. Library winding key. Now where is the clock? Okay. Hmm. Now, where is the clock? Where are we going to find that out? We'll have to find it out next time, I think, maybe, because the stream timer just hit. But first, let's see... Yeah. 
What do you have to say? The drivel in this library, I ask you. I mean, that show up there? Handwritten unpublished notes from some tiresome chap, Da Vinci, I think. That whole section over there? Some boring tits bragging on about a Riemann hypothesis. If cracks, no, no. yawn. Reread that. Reread that. Yeah. Some boring uh, Riemann hypothesis. If cracks. No, no. Some boring tit banging oh, all about. But it doesn't make it better. <laughs> okay. Oh, that bookshelf at the back. Pull the ball oh, Zach, Zach, out in the shelf next to it. Moves. Health has it, eh? <laughs> Where's all the smut, sir? Where are the illustrated geographical studies of this rogue tribe's people? Where are the art books with the bosoms and the gentleman statues? I find the lack of good old-fashioned obscenity to be completely indecent. I think I need a moment to myself. I was keeping him bad in a doubt you maybe use a very old phrase, but no. Uh, the bookshelf to your left slides across to reveal a secret. Okay. What's in front of? Herbert in the library. <laughs> the three paintings show the left hand Cupid shooting an arrow through the central bow to impale the heart of, on the, the cherub on the right. The paintings are wittily placed. Uh, I'm not fully seeing it, I think, but I will. A makeshift altar with a Bible open at the passage. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as uh, be, yeah, they shall be as white as snow. The page has been ripped and scratched at. Okay. There's another card. Okay, where's that clock? Up there's that clock. Speak of the devil. The bill has a rich, sweet aroma. It seems to be filled with ports. Okay. Now, let's wind this thing. And don't forget to connect ourselves to it. There. Okay. Lord, that may be Twitch. <laughs> and then next time, we can continue and perhaps even finish the game. So, oh, let's dear. head over here. Save. And exit. So, yeah. That'll be it for the second episode of the Sexy Bertale. So, let's exit. And move on over here so we can go look for someone to raid. Okay. Now, first off, need to remove that from the top. And let's see. Screen share. Change windows. Which Live. And let's see, there's a few more people online online now. Let's see, we have Sided the Lish, who is playing Banjo Kazooie still. Reef the Leaf with Breath of Fire 3 still. Dugget, Douglas McDog is doing arts. Anyone else doing arts? Not from the looks of it. I'm Nice is playing Animal Crossing. Himisama Shiro is playing Uno, apparently. A stream to eat cake to. <laughs> Shiro's birthday party, okay. Uh, oh, I'm Flanker is playing Warzone. Torpid Typist is playing Lunacid. Big V Streams are playing Baldur's Gate 3. Shubbers the Moon Seal is playing Ocarina of Time. Okay, their first time playing through it in their first episodes. Okay. Uh, Smoops and the Nonsense is reading something. Okay. And then we have Touch Gelite with Lures of the Fallen. And last but not least, we have Halloween. We're playing Alan Wake 2. <clears throat> Okay. Who to rate then, or shall I pick? I'll let you pick this stuff. I'm unsure. Uh, I think... Uh, hmm, let me take a look. We've rated Chubbers recently. Um, signed a list somewhat recently as well. Hmm. I'm thinking Cider. Or are they still on their pre-stream, seeing as they have a very low... No, they're... Okay, their count, their view count, viewer counter must be off because there seems to be more people in chat than it says. Okay, cider. Yeah, let's go with cider for this. This we to read. Uh, someone pay Uno. Yeah. Okay. Copy name, our place slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And um, yes. <laughs> 
okay according to the chat program it's a bit empty today but i will so yeah thank you as always look here you're welcome as always my friend and yeah tomorrow we'll have ourselves a showcase sunday and we'll see what we do in the evening maybe la noir or maybe just uh, some random game to pick up and chill to instead of the typical that we continue with one of the side quests or maybe we will we'll just have to see how it goes yeah i will be, be against to continue more on the uh, journey to the west game okay well again i feel like this game for the sake of the joke <laughs> Playing it Saturday. next Saturday. <laughs> Did you just in try to sync up with me there? Maybe. Okay, Boy. but for now though, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be well, everyone. Sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls and witch seagulls. <laughs>